This is not financial advice, it's not legal advice, it's for entertainment, educational purposes only. And everything I say is my opinion. Please don't make any financial decision based on anything I say in these videos. That being said, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. So you can get the videos as I put them out. Um I had a, a great lunch with um Jonathan Harris yesterday, and one of the, the topics that came up was why do you think the SEC doesn't do their job? Why do you think they don't do no real enforcement? And, uh, oh, I'm currently in the airport. I'm heading out. Um, and we, we had discussed in a little detail about why the SEC don't really do their job, don't really do any real enforcement. And then later in the evening, I, I had met up with a buddy of mine, his name Lloyd, and, uh, and he's a financial analyst. And somehow we ended up on the same conversation as to why the SEC doesn't do their job, why they don't do any real enforcement. And then I explained to him the same thing I explained to Jonathan Harris. And this is this is just my opinion, <laughs> and don't take this as the gospel. This is just my opinion as to why they don't do their jobs. Okay, why there's no real enforcement of the rules and regulation? Why there's no enforcement of the rules that's currently on the books? Because we all know they manipulate the stock through the dog pools, and Gary Gensler and the SEC has the authority to shut down the dog pool, which would shut down what I believe is the most egregious way that they manipulate the market. And not just AMC, not just GME, but every single stock. Because the, the, the dog pools were meant for the big dogs to facilitate trades, not to affect the market. But they've taken it and used it as a way for them to control the market, for them to control the price of any stock. And this goes beyond AMC and GME. This has to do with the whole market in its entirety. Okay? With the whole market in its entirety. But the reason that I believe that the SEC do not do their job, and I am sure that there are a lot of dedicated government employees that work for the SEC that want to be more aggressive with the enforcement of the laws. They want to see a fair and transparent market for the retail investors. But the problem is the structure that's put in place, the structure that they come into makes it almost impossible for them to do that and the reason why is you have a lot of people that worked in the private sector and now work for the sec so they're in fact policing their buddies they're policing the the, the people they see at the golf club they're policing the people that they see at the pta because their kids go to the same schools Okay, so when you have that, can there be any real enforcement? And then the, the entry-level new SEC employees, what are they doing? They're auditioning for a private sector job. They are auditioning for a private sector job. So everybody that they go after, everybody that they enforce the laws with, this is a potential future employer. So if that's a potential future employer, are they really going to go hard? Because here's the thing. You go hard against, say, Citadel, for example. And then your name goes around the industry as a hardball, as somebody who goes above and beyond. That, and, and they'll probably use negative words. Uh, you know, to to describe you, that you're difficult, that that you go. They don't. They won't say you go above and beyond. They'll they will put it in the most negative way possible. Okay, that you're unreasonable. Is is the words they would use. 
So now, while you're in the government, say you've been here three, four, five years, and now you're thinking about transitioning to the private sector, your name is already blackballed in the private sector. You might want to go to Citadel, you might want to go to JP Morgan, you might want to go to Virtual, you might want to go to any uh, uh, of, of these other organizations, and the minute they make a phone call or they hear your name, they might not tell you it, but you're already blackballed. And everybody knows this. And everybody knows this. So a majority of the SEC employees, they are very careful how hard they go after these bad actors because these bad actors could potentially be their future employer. And that is just my theory. That's why I believe that the SEC does not do their job. That's why I believe they don't really go real aggressive over the bad actors because they are auditioning for their future employers. Every time they sit down with a bad actor, they are on a job interview, okay? Every time they sit down with a bad actor, they're on a job interview for future employment. Anyway, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the like button, subscribe button, all that YouTube algorithm stuff. Um, please let me know what you think about why the SEC doesn't do their job. I appreciate y'all on this journey with me. Have a great day. God bless.